And welcome back everybody. I am your host, Nun Defense, host of this YouTube channel, and of course the co-leader of the team Still Unboomable with our real leader, Miss Boom Bitch Angie, who's sitting here with me. Say hello, Angie. Hey everyone. So we are been going thought on I have to I'm gonna just stop and read what she's showing me. Okay, I'm gonna describe this. This is a meme of, of a photo of a child's bedroom and he has nothing but Dallas Cowboys things in his bedroom we're talking about blankets bed sheets you know pillows wallpaper kid, whoever this kid is loves the Dallas Cowboys the the text reads early signs your kid might be gay just gonna let that set mic drop all right so anyway <laughs> thank you for that distraction so we've been doing these uh, videos today uh, going through and looking at the operations yesterday as we all know anybody watching this one's probably called up to the point know that we did operation tinder box I've already did a video on uh, our performance on Black River I then did a video on our performance on assembly um, this one I'm gonna go ahead and do maybe a two for because paradox only took three attacks so we'll, we'll go through that quickly um, the common themes that we've discussed so far in terms of the, 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 the missed opportunities, um, let's see, so far, I need to be better at getting people to swap troops. You guys are offering to swap troops, I gotta take advantage of it. I haven't wanted to inconvenience you, it seems like, you know, you're ready to attack, so I want you to get your attack, but, you know what, we, I, not, never again everybody is just we just gotta we gotta swap troops we gotta just make sure we're doing the right situation uh it's really about the tanks um you know the question is when you come in will do we have a good situation for tanks yes or no because we can almost make everything else work it seems like uh the tanks you know things have to be set up and of course grenadiers but we're not getting into that so we're gonna ask people to swap troops and we're gonna get trained up on other troops i mean the evidence shows uh, other problems is, you know, we're, we're, we're hitting singles in baseball terms. We're hitting singles when we should be hitting doubles and triples. You know what I mean? And it's, and it's catching up to us quickly. We started off stumbling, and it's just we never made up that ground, and everybody just kept stumbling. So that's been kind of the common theme. But uh, Ken Roddy attacked Paradox. Paradox was the lowest number in terms of force points. Uh, just to give you a little insight when you know I'm sitting down and assuming this is just me all by myself but you guys know that Nick will, will be available, Braun will be available, other people will offer opinions, Angie will be here or she won't be here, we're all just throwing out opinions but let's assume that I'm sitting at my coffee table all by myself and it's completely on me to come up with the game plan. When I'm looking at the bases the first thing I do is where am I sending LM and Ken Roddy. That's honestly the first <clears throat> question that I ask uh, because I know as a twofer you can pretty much you know you can you can count almost any base out after the two of them hit it if they hit it properly and not neither one of them have perfect attacks they're okay we're gonna go through you know the today's um, today we went ahead and marked uh, Ken Roddy LM and Wolf on Paradox, we figured the three of them should be able to take it out. As I recall, the three of them did. So we'll see how that goes. This shouldn't. This this won't have a lot of breakdown. Okie dokie. Oh, and uh, we often put Ken and LM together. Uh, they have very similar attack styles. So it's kind of you know, if one sees one, I find that the other one sees it very similar. So they attack very similar. Um, very powerful it's just when you need just a bunch of stuff you know fought destroyed and cleared out and all that it, that's why I choose them and that frees the rest of us up to put as many quality attacks on the big bases you see what I'm saying so there is a reason that we put them on the small on the small bases uh, as opposed to the big bases and that's what it is it's just you know it's about budgeting the attacks you know because you only get one attack so it's like where can we best use everybody so here we go. So Ken Roddy drops over here. Um, doo -doo -doo. You know, I'm just going to judge this attack in the, on, on its own merit. Uh, all in all, I say Ken is pretty good. Uh, you know, certainly solid. Some, he's definitely had questionable attacks, but on this one, let's speed it up just to two. 
on this one as I recall you know it did fairly well like everything like we were right on pace like everything was fine just it was a drop left clear you know fight some stuff um, you know I love that he wasn't wasting much on shock you know here we don't need it just just doing going about the business of going about the business of boom and I hate that we didn't shock these uh, boom cannons and that cost you know but somebody had to go up and fight that rocket and you know he took it on himself <coughs> to do it so if it wasn't him it would have been somebody else so whatever it's gone now so no one else had to worry about it you know and you may be thinking oh a rocket isn't a big deal to tanks so like no it's not but when you don't have to take damage it is a good idea to avoid it wherever you can all right i'm flaring right here at this point like i just am he's not but i am that's what i'm doing so he's just he must be I'm, he's probably out of gunboat boat because he probably would have dropped a shock right around in here otherwise but again he knew what he was doing he's been bombing this uh shock launcher as the notes explain um so and again when we're talking about the subject of the re retreating you know we say we have a no retreat policy I prefer to think of it as if you have offensive troops on the field, you know, let them get a shot off. You know, let them let them die. But you know, if it's a lost cause and you're at the tail end, whatever. You know, we're not going to make a big deal about it. You do to do, do. So that was paradox. But we really shouldn't be retreating. It is a bad habit. Make that clear. So then wolf attack. Uh, Wolf is just right on up there in terms of, you know, strength. Uh, I forgot to, you know, I haven't really been looking at what everybody's levels are or anything. So, Wolf is level 15, Tank level 11, um, Medic. So, very powerful, very skilled. Uh, he lives in Minnesota, and he's a Washington Redskins fan. But he knows how to bomb shockers. So, you know, I'm not going to hold it against him. For the members of our team who do not follow the sport of American football, it's awesome. Okay. Uh, Wolf just all at the gate. I, I still, even in this situation, I'm going to just go ahead and flare over here. You know, I'm just big on it. Like, why are, why are we taking this damage? You know? Uh, and we talked about, like, that's twice recently that you kind of lost all your medics unnecessarily and this flare just flaring as soon as you drop just flare over here you don't even have to take these shots that you're taking like the the seconds that you're saving are not worth the medics that you're losing you got me so that's definitely how i'm playing that situation but when it was all said and done i mean you did what you had to do you got rid of the shockers you know and you made a nice little dent over here Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you just you know you set it all up if i have to be critical and of course that i do i would have put you right here at this point or maybe no i'd have flared you right here and then you'd have maybe taken this stuff out i just like your well no because then that boom can whatever you did good you know you really didn't have too many options at that point so it's no big deal good job good job like, you guys were, you know, right on budget. So, like, if one of you had come in and, and broke it, if you had to beat it in two attacks instead of three, you know, you'd have been a hero. But right on budget is fine, you know. Let's see. So, then this is LM. Uh, level 16 tanks, level 12 medics. Uh, Lord Marshall is a real-life friend of mine. He lives in Pennsylvania. We, we we text he texts me more than I text him be perfectly honest but that's I you know everybody texts me more than I text them so that's not against anybody I'm notorious for not answering my text I, I try to I really do try to but not all the time so why am I watching in real time I don't know so we're gonna flare over here he knows what's going on he's just got to get back here it's really not much to it do 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 just hug in there go ahead and take out that uh that shock block shock launcher and then boom you know that's it we'll just sit there and wait it out and and 
We're getting there. Boom. Great job. So that was LM. So there really wasn't a lot to talk about that. Um, so, you know, the guys who are watching on the team, you know, I don't want you to think that I watch those attacks and say like, oh, wow, they did so brilliant. See, everybody should do it this way. <laughs> no, no. It was the easiest base out of four, or excuse me, out of five really tricky bases. All right, so let's keep things in perspective. They did good, absolutely, and they did exactly what they were expected to do. So, yay, as I clap for them. But I don't want other people on the team watching and say, see, we need to do it this way. You know, like, no, no, no. There was a lot less going on on that base than there were on our bases. Our bases required very strategic, careful breakdown. Oh, also, on the assembly video, I realized I totally forgot to uh, give a shout out to uh, Big Papa on his uh, attack. When I was just doing assembly, I was crawling. And I went back to watch the video, and it was when I watched the video that I realized I skipped over Big Papa. No, I didn't mean to do that. So uh, we're just going to quickly glance the base, uh, the attack before Big Papa so we can get a little perspective on what's going on here. Looking for assembly. So that was Sith. So remember, we were way behind here. Um, well, not way behind. It was just We weren't as ahead as we really wanted to be. You know, but Sith ultimately he bombed the rocket. He got up here, got rid of that sniper, um, and a little bit of damage, and he threw a couple of uh, things at the shock launchers there. All right, okay. So, blah blah blah. Forty-five seconds, you get what's about to happen. So now we are going to. Where did it go? Big Papa. So Big Papa was the next attack. Another example. Um, he wanted to go uh, attack uh, the Paradox. He wanted to beat Paradox, you know. And Big Papa, we're gonna get. We promise to give you that opportunity. But look at what it took to for uh, when we were betting on what was gonna beat Paradox. We're talking about level 16 got the sh got the winning shot. We're talking about level 15 did his part. We're talking about. Uh, wherever Ken Roddy was, level 15 to do his part. So when you come in, and you know, and I'm sure you're very skilled as a tanker, but when you come in saying that you can take Paradox, you'll have to forgive us for being a little skeptical. Okay, but you will definitely get your opportunity to show your stuff. We wanted to go ahead and see your driving of tanks. Going, looking back on it, you know, second, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. We should have just went ahead and asked to swap troops. I'm, com I'm comfortable with our decision to not let you do paradox, and I will stand by it. Um, but I should have asked you to swap troops here. I just should have. But let's see how you did anyway. Do do do. Okay, so we drop over here. Um, you know, you flare over there, you know, that's semantics. I'm still arguing that these are the better corners for the first flare, but, you know, like you've heard me say, you knew what was going on. You knew what you were trying to do. You were, uh, bombing. What'd you bomb back there? Those rockets. Good job. Bomb the shock, la shock launcher. Good job. You know, you weaken these cans area uh, over here. It kind of helps sharp out. So, all in all, it wasn't a great base for tanks. We should have asked you to swap. I know you think you could well beat Paradox, and I respect you for that. And, sir, we will shake hands and agree to disagree, and you will get an opportunity to prove me wrong soon. I promise you that. But, uh, you know, for now, that's just how that went. So, okay, so we've now we went back, uh, gave Big Papa his shout-out, and we've covered Paradox. Two, two, two. Hmm. I don't know how long the video is at this point, but I don't want to start what would be the next one. I would start Machina, and that was kind of complex, or was that pretty easy? Okay. I'll tell you what. We're on. Let's go do a grublet. Uh, let's go find somebody to beat on a grublet. Then I'll wrap this video up. Let's we'll start the next one. Okay. So. And this is specifically for some of the newer members who 
still have who, who have absolutely no idea why in the world Grublet even exists. Okay, obviously Grublet is all about his level one landing craft and his all offense or excuse me all resource reward statues. He has zero offensive boost. The reason that I do that is because if somebody told me, you know, it's like, hey, I have a level three, excuse me, a level 43 Boom Beach account, and I have all level one craft, you know, I'd be like, well, that's pretty cool. Or if somebody came and told me, hey, I have a level 43 Boom Beach account, and I have uh, no offensive statues, I'd be like, oh, wow, okay, that's pretty cool. But if somebody came up to me and said, hey, I have a level 43 boom beach account with all level one craft and no offensive statues I'd be like wow you sir have done something because that's interesting and uh, that's why I do grubble it just to prove that it can be done yes it is difficult yes it is frustrating yes I enjoy it so 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 much I really do I just love the torture of finding a grublet win so we're just gonna try to find one live right now uh, um, yeah, no, no, I could do it maybe, but there's I I don't know. No, if there's doubt, then on a grublet like, then it's probably better just to not go in. So let's check this guy out. Hmm. Okay, I can do the rocket. Get rid of that mortar and flamethrower. Are there other rockets? This is a rocket. And, huh. Okay, yeah, we can do it. Yep, we can do it. All right, watch this. Here we go. Win or lose, this is going to wrap the video up. Here we go. So, first thing we want to do is I want to eliminate this rocket completely. And one uh, artillery should do it. Okay, all right, looking good. Uh, this of flamethrower and mortar needs to go so I'm going to place my more barrage right there see how this goes okay it's good we're gonna retreat we're gonna do that again that's what grublet is if you ever wonder how I got you know so good at net dialing in grublet is I will spend as many attacks as I have to do to get the gunboat ra round first like you got to it's all you got to because he has no gunboat or no like extra gunboat so it has to work okay so we're gonna drop that there see if we can get both of those in that one shot <clears throat> not quite not quite all right retreat I'm gonna try something else I'm eating some popcorn I know it's probably rude to, for me to talk with my mouth with popcorn in it, but when my beautiful lady shows up with popcorn and just sticks it right in front of me, I mean, what am I supposed to do other than just eat it? Okay, so I've got to put here and here. Let's try that. See what happens. <clears throat> okay, that didn't even... I didn't even take either of them out. Okay. We're getting close. I know, this is boring, but this is grublet. I know nobody asked for this video, but... Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. So, Alright, here we go. You and there. Y'all see me nitpicking over you know, this, you know, like, oh, a barrage, a millimeter. Well, it matters. It does matter. No, I can't do it. Okay, all right, next attack, I'm actually dropping troops. Now that I have proven to myself there's no way that I can cheat an extra an extra kill there. You probably lost all your viewers at this point. That's you might, okay. You might be talking to yourself. I'm all right with that. That doesn't bother me. Are you kidding me? One, two. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do, do, do. And boom. So we flare over here to the corner. We're going to let our lead guys take that damage. Don't even worry about it. We're going to flare back to that corner. 
and I'm waiting, waiting. Just making sure I'm not wasting my smoke yet. No smoke to waste. Okay, now destroy this rocket. Come on. No, we're not doing so hot. Yeah, it looks like we're about to wrap this video up with a loss. But it's grublet, so, you know, I'm used to losing. Um, yeah, it's over. So, anyway. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. And I'm going to get it posted. So, uh, we went ahead and we covered... Uh, let's see, what did we do today? We looked at Big Papa's attack. We looked at, uh, you know, the three attack run on uh, Paradox. And... You know, we, we failed on Grublet, so we're getting there. So I want to thank you so much for watching. As always, please remember we're still unboomable, and please, please, please stay safe. Thank you.